Hey Virgos, welcome to Vivid Vibration. I hope everyone is doing well. Virgs, y'all got the comic and Anima Mundi, the mountain and the box. Ooh, well, I, <laughs> I think of like a, a shaft, I think is what it's called. Um, like a mine shaft. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> you know, and like going down this mine shaft to uncover the value because I kind of get this feeling of like going down this. I love the way that this is like reflecting because <laughs> it is, it's like going down the shaft and you're going, you're going down, down into this, like this hole that is, um, I, I get the feeling of like, you feel like you're like, you're just falling further and further down this hole, further and further down these boxes. And you're feeling more and more claustrophobic. And it's like, you get to the end, you break out of this box because you can't fit in any more boxes. Like they're so confining that you, like you, you have to break out when you break out. That's when you discover this treasure. And when you discover this treasure, you're able to have a better understanding of like what it is that you are able to do, what it is that you're able to create. And, you know, like looking back at all of the, the, the journeys that you've been through, the growth that you've experienced, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like forgiving yourself sometimes. That's funny. I was telling my friend earlier tonight, um, a story about, you know, something that I had done when I was like 19 and there's something I'm like, I'm not proud of as a person, you know what I mean? Um, and thinking about like the different versions of myself that I've been throughout, like throughout my life that have gotten me here and like bad decisions that I made and, and ways that I hurt people and you know what I mean? But it's just kind of like having to when you fall down that rabbit hole of like all of the things that we've done wrong in life, because we've all done things wrong, you know what I mean? Um, and sometimes it like, we don't understand what's wrong until we're, you know, in a different phase in our lives. And then we look back and at something that we were proud of doing and are like horrified that we ever did that. You know what I mean? And I just kind of feel like you're coming into an understanding that's just allowing for you to forgive all the versions of yourself allowing for yourself to find the humor in it. Because if you hadn't experienced that, well, then you wouldn't be able to, you know, like have empathy in this area. You wouldn't be able to, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I think I wouldn't believe that other people could change if I hadn't witnessed it in myself. You know what I mean? Um, because as I see that in myself, then I'm able to see it in other people. You know what I mean? It, it just kind of like, again, it's that idea of like, you've been getting out of the burning down house. You've been like, this is the direction that we, that we need to go. This is the direction that I need to go. Um, and, and I kind of get the feeling of like being steps ahead, you know, because again, in your last read, it was like, you know, a giant amongst men. And I feel like you're like, okay, well, I've been doing this and, and it's kind of, I almost feel like, like you got ahead and the, and the people got left behind, you know, but it's like, but how do you, how do you forgive yourself for that? Right. Because if you care about these people and you feel like they've been left behind, like, how do I forgive myself for that? You know what I mean? And, and is what I'm doing worth it in the end, really? And, you know, like, just like all of the questions that we ask ourselves. Um, and I just kind of feel like, like that's kind of where you've been in reflecting because you need to be comfortable with all of it. You know, like you have to, you have to be able to see it and I feel like just not wince. <laughs> it has been in your reads for a while, just kind of this idea of like, of self-love, of rejecting your shadow um, until you realize that it was the one thing that was going to protect you. And then having to kind of reintroduce yourself to that and and what does my shadow look like and can I love myself even when I exist in my shadow state and can I use it for something good that's going to protect me rather than just something that you know like runs around and and ruins things just because it's it's wild and un, you know like untamed <laughs> um the hierophant the knight of swords and the six of swords well, again, you know, like, I just feel like that exiting that burning building and knowing that this is what has to happen and speaking on that, you know, and just saying like, this is, I know that this is the way that I have to go. Okay. Perks. 
see what else we can get for y'all. <laughs> oh, hope everyone's doing well, having a good day. Burks. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. Well, yeah, I mean, going back over everything, reviewing everything, seeing the good for the good, seeing the bad for the bad, understanding how, you know, you go through these experiences and how they send you in one direction or send you in another direction that ultimately is like that, that box that just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Um, and on all the while, you know, working on yourself, trusting that like, it'll be okay in the end. Um, you know, like I know that, that when it's time, I'll be ready. Um, and I think that again, it's been in your reads for a while now, Virgs. like when you step into the room, you're going to step into a room full of people who are meant for you, who align with you, you know, you're going to be able to stand in your power and it's going to be fruitful, fruitful <laughs> rather than standing in your power and having it be destructive. And I love that. <laughs> Virgs. kind of a short read. Magician, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Well, yes, again, I think just making a decision to leave the battles behind, leave the fighting for people to get out of the burning house when you need to make a decision to do that for yourself. And there's just so much, it's like a, like a very, very, very big difference. You know, again, that stepping into a different room, stepping into a room where you are allowed to be a powerhouse, stepping into a room where you are allowed to, to move forward with your thoughts and, you know, take action to create your own abundance. I love that, Bergs. Stop fighting your way. You know, stop trying to talk people into doing things that, why are you, like, there are people who you will align with naturally. You shouldn't be going around trying to talk people into doing things because you are wanting acceptance, right? Because it's what it keeps boiling down to. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. I just dropping cards here. Let me not do all of those cards. <laughs> sorry. I'll shuffle. Okay. Burks. Let's do one last card for y'all. I will call to read. <laughs> Alithia. Yes, because you're standing in your truth. You're no longer trying to make yourself small for other people. You're standing in your truth. You're standing in your power and you're creating your abundance and you're moving forward in directions that are taking you very far away from all the lack. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if it does. And I will see y'all again soon. Bye.